What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be talking about Buff Bunny's brand new Most Wanted collection launching this Saturday, April 9th. 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The premise of this collection is taking your feedback to heart. This is an accumulation of all the goods that Buff Bunny has to offer. If you guys are unfamiliar with Buff Bunny, they are really known for their pretty luxurious fabrics. Number one, the one I love the most is the Nubre fabric. That's more that yogi, super buttery soft to the touch kind of feel. The Elysium fabric, which is super good for gym wear, very fast wicking. And in this drop, this drop, we're introducing a brand new fabric called the Reprieve. The Reprieve fabric is made from recycled plastic bottles, waste from the ocean. Thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, it's their Eco Seamless that we're looking at today. That's gonna be the premise of this video. I'm really gonna focus on that because if you guys watch my channel, you know that I love Buff Bunny. I love wearing them athleisurely more than anything. When I go to the gym, I always opt to grab a seamless set. That's just me. That's how I like to lift my weights and work out. So I'm really, really excited that they came out with some seamless here. And it's a scrunch butt, like, okay. I think they had me in mind for this one. If you are new, welcome. My name's Ashley. We review a ton of activewear brands on this channel. Loads of Instagram brands like Alphalete, Buff Bunny, Abel, Gymshark. And we also love to sprinkle in some of that mainstream Aloe Yoga, Nike, Adidas, Lululemon. I actually just did a Lululemon video. So after this video, go ahead and check that one out because we reviewed the new Bliss Feel sneakers. Wow, 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 wow. And definitely stay posted because you already know what's coming next, right? I think you do. That new Alphalete. Amplify. Yeah, we got a lot to talk about with this collection coming up and we may or may not be having a damn good giveaway going on. So definitely subscribe so you do not miss that video coming next. If you find this video helpful, please do consider using my code GATA at checkout for this launch or any future Buff Bunny launches or just shopping Buff Bunny in general. It really does help this channel out big time. Helps us to continue doing these reviews ahead of time so you can get all the information you need before the launch. It has been a hot minute since Buff Bunny came out with seamless pieces. I'm talking like years. This is my first go at Buff Bunny seamless. <laughs> and this is their very first scrunch legging. Hello, you've come to the right place. The color I have here is called Pacific. So it's almost like a dark bluish gray color. Very morally breakup. This first impression, man, when I first saw this, I thought of the Pursue Times Hope collection. The thickness, the moral, the dark color, like it just screamed that to me. I'm pretty sure I even have the Pursue in like the same color, which is definitely a good thing because if you remember that video, I really loved the Pursue Times Hope. What's really great is that they added in a seamed logo. So it's in one in the same with the legging rather than the prints that they usually do. So that's a step up already. I'm like, yes, please. Because on a ribbed band like this, a print would just peel off in seconds. You do have a nice thick band. Overall, the stretch is pretty decent. You have a ribbed contour swooping around the leg. You also have almost like a waffle texture towards the bottom ankle area, but it's super subtle. Like these contours are very subtle. This scrunch is a long baby. It goes all the way from the band to the gusset. That is one hell of a long scrunch. It's very straight, like very straight and pretty thick actually. Like compared to the Amplify, this is pretty, pretty thick in between my glutes here. When I'm wearing it, you do see it. It's not like it tucks in between but we'll get into that in just a second. Another big hitter about this legging is the fact that you do have a lot of breathable, like fishnet style wrapping around the legs, like the quad area, really nice contour, but it also helps it become a little more breathable. I wore this legging to the gym and outside. I wore it in 45 degree weather, froze my ass off because the wind just got right in between those holes and I was like, dude, but it does bode well because if you're sweating your ass off at the gym, this is gonna keep you nice and aired out. Keep in mind, this is a seamless legging, but you do have one of those seams that meets the legging to the band. I just wanna point that out. I know like the amplifies, it's just like one flowy, flowy fabric. This is definitely a big bulky seam going straight across underneath the band. If you look up closely, this scrunch, you don't have the ruching around the scrunch area, it just lies very flat. So that just, right away, I knew that this wasn't gonna tuck right into the cheeks like the Amplify does. This scrunch is gonna be more of an accent, 
just to help out glute separation, but not necessarily give you that wedgy look like the Amplify does. The Amplify, like I'm just gonna really quickly show you, like you can see where it ruches in right at the center, right where that scrunch meets. Again, this is of a thicker material, not buttery soft, more of like a textured feel, very good gym friendly as hell. I wore these to the gym, I loved them. They held up wonderfully. So they're actually launching two different style sports bras in this seamless little range they got going on here. I have the resource bra. They also have a recharge, which has higher support. I definitely got the resource because I don't have a lot to support. Comes a little bit higher right here, coverage. Again, super low support, but if you have bigger gals, I'd probably say C, D, E, F, G and on. I would grab the Recharge Seamless Sports Bra. That one has real thick straps, racer back, keyhole, just looks 10 times more supportive. But for me and what I do at the gym, the resource is just what I need. I actually did some back in this sports bra and I noticed that nothing was pinching in, nothing was like, even these thin straps were not pinching or too tight. They just laid across my back so beautifully and I was able to have full range of motion without any impedance. But with that being said, I did notice that there's quite a bit of side boob, just a bit, just enough for me to notice. So keep that in mind. They also have full length tank tops to go with these sets. I don't have one of those, but I do have one of their recharge crop tops. Again, all this is in the color Pacific. That baby pink though, that's cute as hell for the spring. I don't know if you noticed that, but I'm just saying. So this crop's really good if you wanted the low support sports bra, but you don't want things like kinda, you know, a little too loosey up here. Throw this right over top. This is a very comfortable cropped tee. Okay, so let's talk this scrunch, okay? Because I know what we're all here for. It's this. So you know how I told you it's just like one thick strip? What's good about that is the fact that I don't see this type of scrunch ever getting messed up. A lot of my gals, you guys are saying like, you know, hey, this scrunch failed on me, this one comes apart. I just had a gal who said they had to re-stitch one of their scrunch bums back themselves. I don't, I don't know, that sounds scary. But this one just it won't do that. Like if I'm pulling, which I don't suggest you doing this anyway, but if you're like really pulling to try to get it up between the cheeks, it's not one of those scrunches that are like cinched where it's just gonna rip the seams and just kind of like mess your whole department up. I do think if I size down, the scrunch would work even better. That's my theory. I feel like the, the looseness just doesn't help its cause. But nevertheless, it does do something and I like how semi-natural it looks. I mean, there's definitely a patch there, but it looks more or less just like a thicker seam and not necessarily a scrunch, like I need help in that department. This is my scrunch. Moving and squatting in this legging, no restrictions, no scrunch getting right up in the cheeks and hurting like a, like a real tight thong. It, it felt really comfortable. The stretch was there. It's just the right amount of support for me. I think on the scrunch scale, Amplify being like 10 out of 10, <laughs> This would probably be for me more of like a three or four out of 10 because it doesn't really like hug into anything. It's more of just a glorified middle seam. Now I really don't know if I size down if it would help in this department because where I want that grab, I want it right here, okay? I want the whole booty to be grabbed like the amplifies and when I let go of this excess material, it just kind of hovers over the crack a bit. <laughs> just, you know, it's there but it's not. I think for Buff Bunny's first attempt at a scrunch, they did okay. I would love to see their evolution of this though. Very curious. My true size small is okay. I think I could have gotten away with sizing down because I do see a little bit of excess material going on right back here. If you're in between, most definitely size down. I mean, there's a good amount of stretch right at the waistband. This is just a moderate compression, nothing crazy. There's a little more of a less stretch right around the legs. Most of the stretches in the band, like I felt it kind of loose around my waist a little bit. Again, all I did was really weight train and walk around in these and they held up pretty damn well. There's no slipping, no getting annoying, nothing like that. Wicking test begins now. While we wait for this to dry, let's talk sports bra real quick. They do say this is a medium support. I'm gonna give it a super light support. Like this side boob though, look at that. That's a big chunk of boob right there. If I'm working out my back, these are just gonna jiggle their way out. Granted, I have a lot of side boob. Nah, that's where I carry my weight. I did not feel like anything's act 
actually gonna slip out though. It didn't get to that level at the gym. I don't think it ever will. I don't think I'm used to sports bras that are cut at such an angle where I feel a little slightly exposed over here. So in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh no. But really I'm like, nothing's really gonna happen. The backing is my favorite part though. There's no digging and look how dainty these little straps look. This is the perfect strappy back because it's not digging and causing lack of circulation. And no itch, no pull, nothing. I feel like overall you could, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you, could, you could definitely get away with sizing down. I probably would too. So if your bust size is similar to mine, I'd probably say you could get away with sizing down. By the way, have you guys seen the cute little buff bunny headbands? Like I have one in every color, goes with all my sets like. Okay, so this is very true to size. Do not size down in the crop. If anything, I would actually say size up because this is kind of digging in right here. I'm not the kind of person who likes to wear tight things over my already tight gym set. I feel claustrophobic. I feel like I need to just get it off of me. I was never like into that, you know what I mean? Like, I don't like to feel restricted. I don't like anything covering me. I just need, I need it off my body. But if you're somebody who really does like a nice fitted crop top tee type of style, check this one out, size up, and you'll be good to go. It is stinking cute though. So it's been about four minutes. I feel it wicking, but I feel like you could still totally see that sweat mark. Yeah, you can see that for sure. <laughs> this is a thick layer, so you can anticipate there being a little bit of that like soggy feel. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe. We got that awfully Amplify coming your way, plus a giveaway, so you don't wanna miss that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below something you're looking to snag from this collection, if anything. Love you guys so much, and I'll catch you in my next video.